Aerodynamics is one factor that most influences the performance of cyclists in races like the Tour de France. To reduce air resistance, body shape plays a major role. As do streamlined helmets, skin suits and the absence of body hair. However, the most effective way of improving aerodynamics remains teamwork. By taking up position directly behind a teammate, a competitor can be protected from the wind, reduce drag and use less energy. This is known as slipstreaming. The leading cyclist makes the biggest effort. Those behind conserve their energy. During a breakaway, strategy varies depending on the wind, and this can result in several different race formations. Where two riders are racing side by side, the leader will move across to shelter from the wind, while the other takes the strain over a 100 or 200 meter stretch. Rotation is continuous. If there's a side wind, riders seek to form a natural shelter. A fan shape is created, allowing each to find refuge and reduce aerodynamic resistance. Riders in the breakaway group take turns to enjoy the benefits of slipstreaming. The rate of rider rotation at the head of the peloton depends on the strength, stamina and fitness of each rider. The sprinter, in the heart of the group, can save up to 50% of his energy by slipstreaming. In this way, he'll be ready to put everything into the last few hundred meters of the race.